What is going on you guys? I'm Super Rebel and in today's video, wow, like I got some cool shit to share with you guys. One of them is about a first person mode and the second thing is just, I guess you'll just have to wait for that part. But anyway, if you guys are excited for Just Cause 3, be sure to drop a like on this video because we are getting closer to the release date. I believe it's like 40 or something days left to go, which is crazy. That is going to go by absolutely super fast, especially considering all the stuff that is coming out. So if you guys are excited be sure to like the video and let's just jump right into it so one of your awesome rebels basically sent me this loading screen on twitter earlier today and to be honest with you guys i don't think anyone else has spotted this apart from this awesome rebel who actually sent me this so i want to say thank you to you first of all because i didn't even see this myself and it is basically confirming a first person mode for when you shoot now i'm going to read out what it says as it is a bit hard to read um, from your point of view like you can't actually zoom into the video but you get what I mean so I'm gonna read this out and it says stay on target for surgical shooting using the precision aim mod and I'm not sure if this is R3 or L3 but whichever that is and then it says to turn off auto aiming and see right down the scope of Rico's gun now that last part right there see right down the scope of Rico's gun that is more or less saying you look in Rico's eye and you can see basically his view on the gun. Now, this is quite interesting because not too long ago in another gameplay video, I remember one of you rebels telling me first person mode confirmed, but basically he or she was talking about when Rico was in a tank and he was using the gun from there, or not a tank, I think it was like a jeep or something like that, but basically it was in a first person mode. So at that time, I didn't really think that is confirming first person mode. I just generally thought that is something that's going to happen when you get into those sort of like uh, guns in the first place just like any other open world game I guess you could say so that didn't really I guess stand out to me but now it does make sense because after reading that it more or less is going to work with every gun if I'm not mistaken I can't 100% confirm it at this moment in time it might work with certain weapons but regardless I mean that is a first person mode right and the second thing that this awesome rebel sent me was this screenshot saying there's a blood moon in Just Cause 3. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I don't know if I'm being trolled right now, or if this is an actual, like, screenshot, because I don't know off by heart which gameplay this is, but if this is real, this is really, really cool, right? I mean, come on, a blood moon in Just Cause 3? That is some next level stuff, but like I said, honestly, like 50% of me feels like I'm being trolled right now and this dude just photoshopped that, but either way, it definitely does look cool. But anyway, that about wraps up this video. I did upload a few videos earlier on today and one of them actually being about the trailer I'm making for the competition. So it would really mean a lot to me if you guys could check that out as well and be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't already for more awesome Just Cause Free content and I will catch you guys in the next one. But till then, adios amigos.